What's up, everybody? Uh, Jesus, dude, you're right up in my face. I'm just kidding. I love you. I love you, Kyle. Uh, hey, guys, I am with, I'm going to screw this up by Ayana and AJ. Nailed it. Yeah. You got it. Spot on. <laughs> and they have a really cool bus that's behind us right now and a story. We're going to get both of that in this video. We'll share some really cool stuff by man AJ does, how Ayana has contributed in the circus a little bit. <laughs> and we're going to get more details of all of that coming up right now. First off, thank you to Kyle. Go s subscribe to his YouTube <laughs> channel. Uh, Kyle, thank you, buddy. Uh, Kyle's van life, right? Uh, so he's doing all of my videographing while we're at the Colorado Tiny House Fest. So thank you to Kyle. He's been amazing. And you can talk. People can hear you, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. So how long have we been doing this? What's going on? You're in a bus. Yeah, so we've been uh, full time on the road now for a little over two and a half years. I had the bus since 2018. It took us about 18 months to convert. So it was a slow burn for us. But yeah, I have loved living on the road for the past over two years. Do we go bus over van for any specific reason? Yeah, because there are two of us okay. and a dog. Do you feel like it's, it's bigger? I guess it is bigger than a van. Wider, but not as long. Yeah, it's actually a really similar square footage to like a, a long sprinter, but just the width makes such a difference. Yeah. It, it's been really, makes it feel like a bigger space for us. Yeah, we didn't want anything too big because we didn't want to have trouble parking it or like worrying about campsites or anything like that. So I think the shorty bus was like the perfect happy medium. So before we go in, the make model of the actual bus itself, and chassis, I guess. Yeah, so it's a 2001 Chevy Express 3500 van front. It's a mid-bus chassis. Two and a half years on the road. Do we see an end date or are we just like, let's go have a good time? What we've said from the start is we're going to keep doing it until we run out of money or it stops being fun. And neither of those things have happened yet. Fair enough. Um, word on the street is uh, you guys are getting hitched next weekend. <laughs> yeah. This video is probably going to come out after that. Congratulations. Thank, oh, thank you. you so much. It's, been a, it's been a long, you guys pretty much got engaged right before you got into the bus. Or right around that time. Uh, we've been on, we've been on there for like six months or something. Yeah, that's yeah. right. You proposed in the bus? Uh, we, or did we you propose? Brought, I don't know, who proposed who? We brought the bus back to Boulder. Okay. And uh, yeah, you know, we passed the six month mark and I was like, all right, if we can live in a bus for six months, we can get married. That was pretty good. That's a good idea. You're like, if I could put up with a partner in this small space, yeah. let's yeah. do it. <laughs> At the festival, you guys even have a little table set up. Yeah. Sure do. That you're selling some stuff. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I make jewelry on the road. I collect flowers, press them, and then put them in jewelry. Is that your full-time living it income? Is. As yeah. well as what he does. Okay, yeah. so jewelry. And silversmith, yeah. I solder this shit. Okay, we'll bleep that one out, oh, but... <laughs> stuff. Um, it's all good. And then earrings. Right? Are these earrings or necklaces? Those are your necklaces. I'm, I'm all, all new to this, it's you know okay. what I mean? Necklaces. I don't wear these the jewelry. These are all earrings. Because there's two and you have two, the two ears. I like, where you're, I like what you're... Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And then you have the all-famous <laughs> Bus Life Kitchen by AJ Forrest. Is that right? Or for, Forget? Forget. Forge. The Bus Life Kitchen. Talk to me about this, man, because I, t I met you at the last festival and you were like explaining... We had a few drinks around a campfire and you were explaining mm -hmm. to me this book. So yeah. tell the audience of this book. So this book is 105 recipes from about 15 different cuisines, all of which were developed in this bus in our tiny kitchen for a two burner stove top, you know, relatively simple stuff, but also really good high quality recipes. And you have a background in cooking? Uh, not. I never worked in a kitchen, but I grew up in a family where food was really important. You know, my dad cooked, all my older brothers cooked, and so cool. I just, as soon as I could reach the stovetop, I was learning to cook. It's one of those things that, like, that obviously we cook on the road, but, like, nobody, like, I don't know how to cook a good amount of meals on my two-burner, or on a two-burner, so, like, boom, yeah. enter, enter your book. Absolutely. That was exactly. a great idea to write a cookbook. I'm, sad, I'm glad somebody did that over an ebook of how to build a van. <laughs> yeah, there are a few of those. Shots fired. There. Shots fired. Before we step in, you got a wall of coats. coats. Yep. <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> I love this step. This is an aftermarket step. Mm -hmm. It is, yeah. Um, and it folds? Mm -hmm. It does, Do yeah. It. Fold Do it. it. Oh my God. Do I wanted to use that in my tiny house. So that's as, uh, it's like one of those like uh, gear steps or whatever they're called, right? And I don't even know what they're called. 
I don't even. I've I've looked for it several times when people asked. I can never find it. You yet. can't find it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's on like some automotive yeah. website. I think they're like they're perfect. used on like the side of like ambulances and fire trucks. Yeah. yeah so they, that's what people can look up if they really want to. Your head on the way in. Thank you so much. <laughs> you guys are coming in with me. <laughs> I guess we can talk about this this little angel. Okay. And she's a whopping thirteen. Mm -hmm. And she's a is she a puggle? Yep, half pug, half beagle. You have one swivel. Is this this is this is a very comfortable. I was just sitting in it. It's amazing, right? It's like one of the best chairs ever. It reclines right? fully. Too. Does it really? Yeah. I mean, I love buses because you guys don't have any like just anything in the way right here. It's just but yeah, talk to me about it. Like, what's going on? Like, how did you guys design this? Like, so the first thing we did was change the bus front. So this is like one of the most unique things about our build. We closed off the bus doors right there and then used our wheelchair lift door as our main door so that we could put the captain's chair in. That was a wheelchair lift? Yes. Mm. So this was initially the bus doors. Think about like the thing right there. Oh, so you closed this off yes. right here? Yeah. And then this was a wheelchair ramp? Yep. Oh my goodness. Now I see it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Which allowed us to put the captain's chair in that swivels. So that was not there. Correct. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> And it makes sense because I've seen the the Chevy what what is it G twenty what what is this one Express. called the, Ex the Chevy yeah, Express the bus yeah. yeah and you didn't do anything altercations to the roof no. and you're tall you're taller than me mm -hmm. I'm six feet if, I, if I stand up straight I'm I'm touching <laughs> wow I just realized you guys didn't do anything to this mm -mm. all right people love talk this is a DOI build right yes mm -hmm. so people love talking costs if you are comfortable talking costs then I'm sure they would love to hear it. What was the bus? Because you guys bought it at a spike time. We, I, no, 2018, we oh, you purchased did. Yeah. the bus. Okay. So it wasn't crazy. We got the bus for 4,500. That's a good deal. Um, yeah, there were a ton of engine problems, which is the whole other ball of wax. Yeah, We've had is. turbo issues since we bought her. Okay. And have put a ton of money into the how engine many, bay. Do you remember how many miles were on it when you got it? I think it's about 120. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah. And then, and have, do you know maintenance wise what you spent on the bus mechanically? Probably about 20,000. <laughs> Is it that high? We, yeah. we had a, a single $12,000 mechanic bill at one point. It was like a he total engine him, rebuild. He literally said, are you sitting down? Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was a big one. So that's a big one. So it was a 40, you got $4,500 deal, but oh crap, there's engine issues. Yes. Yeah. But we fixed all of those, we think. Um, yeah. and you had a really good couple great. of years. Yeah. Good. Um, and then what roughly did the build cost itself? Do you I remember? I think that we put about... It was somewhere at fifteen to twenty thousand into the build, and we did hire out some labor with the carpentry inside. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't even. I can't do math that fast. I'm fried. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So Kyle, any idea? About plus 45. 15. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. After all these mechanical yeah. costs, about forty-five. <laughs> about forty-five. We felt Which really good at twenty-five. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. we've been in it for two and a half years. And you've been. I mean, I mean, you're living rent-free for That's two and right. a half years. Yeah. One of my favorite features of any build is this little guy. Mm. Yeah. If you can fit it into anything, I say put it in there. It's really kind of beautiful and nostalgic. Mm -hmm. The tiny wood stove, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Difficulties with it, installing it, maybe with the, the top? So I think that of all of the builds I've ever seen, this is maybe the first one that is like actually up to NFPA standards. I love how you said that. Thank so, you. <laughs> I, I used to be a firefighter. So, did you really? Okay. Yeah, that's so, what I did in my 20s. So that was kind of important to me. Copper coated aluminum shielding with one inch ceramic spacers around it at a six inch distance, which meets NFPA. Did you know any of that, Kyle? I didn't. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Talk nerdy to me. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, if you caught on what, how she just looked at him was probably the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I think it's in there. So this meets fire code. It does, yeah. Even though I don't know if these need to, you did it. Yeah, uh, you know, paralysis is a thing. You got to be careful. A standard wood stove needs to do that, but I don't know if the tiny wood ones have to. But you even, and you also did the flooring, right, too, or the, the base of it. Yeah, it's on cement board with uh, river rock. So this is heavy over here. <laughs> Pretty much everything I feel is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we learned a little bit about your firefighter background, mm -hmm. but to earn money in the road, you also were a what? I was a <laughs> <laughs> nanny for a traveling circus. Yeah, I stumbled into the gig when my magician friend texted me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right it now. just keeps getting better, doesn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, and he was like, hey, 
there's this traveling circus. They're looking for a nanny. I know you did that. Do you still do that? I know you want to be on the road and traveling. And so they comped us front row seats to the circus and I fell in love because of course it was so fun. That No joke. That sounds amazing. Yeah. So we did that for a year. We chased the circus around from was Florida it hard to, leave? to the Pacific Northwest. It's always hard to leave kids. Like yeah. when you're that big a part of their lives, it's always hard to leave. Um, but we were ready. We were ready to travel on our own. The book had just been published and we were kind of launching into this next phase. So. And it was interesting to hear about her circus travels. Oh, you were there too, obviously. But you had all this free time and that was the time that you got to write the book. Absolutely. Yeah. You were just like, I'm sitting here cooking up a storm. I might as well write a book about it, <laughs> you know? Did you know you were going to write the book before she took the gig? Yeah, I'd been working on it for like 18 months already, but it was sort of like really close to being done, but there was all this stuff left. I, like, I had to learn Adobe InDesign to do the layout of the book. I had to finish all the writing. Wow. So having eight hours a day to myself in this bus uh, was yeah, really the So that's what you do, needed. Kyle. We need, to, we need <laughs> to have a partner to work in a gig where we can just be a kept man and write a book. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Be alone. Helps. or vice versa. We can go all the way, and the and the woman can can get everything done that she wants to get done. Boom, <laughs> there it is. It's always a trade off. It's a know? trade off. For it's sure. a beautiful Partner trade. Off. Finishing off this side until we get to the bed. You just have a standard bench. Yep. Is there anything unstandard about it? No storage underneath. That's really yeah. the only thing. Is that where you house electrical? No, electrical yeah. is actually up there. What? All of up here? Uh huh. Yeah. You, can, I, you have three hundred hours of lithium. Yeah. You can open it if you want. Yeah. So, yeah. Why not? Batteries are in here, as, long, as well as inverter charge controller. This go. is our fuse box in the original spot of the bus fuse box. No way. Yeah. I, I feel like a lot of bus builders do all their mechanicals up here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it, it made sense to us. And then, you know, there's like first aid kits and stuff up here. Uh, 300 amp hours of lithium batteries in there. Plenty of amp hour battery. Um, but you did win a giveaway. Yeah, the Jackery. The Jackery giveaway, a little extra power for you. Definitely. Has that been a, a pretty good extra amount of power? Definitely. Before the Jackery, I would say we were a little bit more concerned about like charging laptops and things, like especially in the winter with yeah. low angle sun. Post Jackery, we're running the Starlink and have pretty much all the power we need. You have a Starlink that yeah. draws a lot of power. Yeah. Do we upload content? Are we content creators? Yeah. Yeah, yeah sort of. Sort not of. Good ones. Not good. I mean, who's who is good? I'm not. You got the jewelry. Um, you know, retired circus nanny, retired firefighter, uh, now cookbook writer. You're finding a bunch of different ways to make money on the road and pay off your twelve thousand dollar mechanical bill. <laughs> <laughs> got it. <laughs> um, regular old bench. I see mechanisms. Do these fly open? Have we had issues with them flying open? Oh yeah. <laughs> This is our pantry, which it's is incredibly gigundo. heavy. Okay. <laughs> they pull it out all the way. Yeah. Oh, it goes, oh my goodness. It's, yeah, it's a yeah. solid 20 some odd inches. So that one uh, snapped through I these see that. Y hooks and needed something more heavy duty. <laughs> Do you even lock that? You just kind of let that go. <laughs> we, we've got the old uh, Oh, there you go. goes in that Yeah, slot. okay. <laughs> I mean, that's genius. It works. Yeah. The lagoon table to get some work done. Yeah. Oh, wow. It that's stores awesome. away. Yeah. You don't have to take it all the way out, don't worry. I think we all know what a table looks like. But look how big it is. That's a big table. <laughs> I also want to point out, we've got four of us in here very comfortably. Yeah. Yeah. That's because we got this big old wide bus. It's about the same length, I would say, as like a 170 Sprinter, like you said. Yeah. Um, right? Would you say that, Kyle? Yeah, about, fairly close. About the same size? But it seems a lot smaller on the outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's weird. It is kind of weird. Yeah. I honestly think that this chair changes everything. I agree. You, with the deletion because of that. Because you're yeah. standing right there. Yeah. That wouldn't be happening. I think you're right. Queen size bed obviously fits you too and your puggle. Yes. Yeah. Um, do we read all the books? Oh, I've read probably like a third of those, but you know, we try to get rid of the ones that we've read and fill the space with new ones. Nice. You got to fill the bookshelves. Yeah. Do you read? You don't read. No, I don't read. Yeah, you're like me. <laughs> Reality television junkie. <laughs> Reality television <laughs> oh, junkie? Yeah. Have you, have you seen Gutted? Only season one, not season two yet. Yeah, season one. <laughs> you know I was on it. I know, I think that's how I knew who that's you were. you knew who I was, because I got it, yeah. I was like, that's Not because of the YouTube channel, because <laughs> of Gutted. <laughs> do you agree with who won? Yeah, I do. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I just kind of gave away season one winner. <laughs> <laughs> um, watch season two. 
Okay. And I would actually love, I mean, I personally would love to hear your feedback on the comparison okay. as a reality TV junkie slash critic connoisseur yeah okay. i'm gonna put you as a critic we're gonna we're gonna you're we're gonna start a title new title for you love it jewelry uh, maker retired circus <laughs> nanny reality television critic yes Perfect. absolutely queen size bed obviously plenty of room upper storage cabinet only on one side of the the bus was yeah. there there was i mean it's genius so head this way feet this way that's right yeah mm -hmm. just Great. headroom you know standing up from the couch laying in bed yeah do we do we do we camp what are we how do we parking are we finding stealth parking um which we are so not stealth in this thing. You think? <laughs> You're in a bus. National Forest, we are boondocking 99% of the time. And when we're not, we're at friends' houses or family members. We yeah. really stay out of cities. And then you have your pride and joy, your kitchen. Yeah. yeah. This yeah, yeah. giant beauty here. This giant beauty. <laughs> this four and a half feet of magic. <laughs> yep. What kind of fridge? Just a, looks like a Dometic 12 volt? Mm -hmm. Yep, Dometic 12 volt, 70 liters. 70 liters. Do you use this? I, I need to know this. <laughs> I honestly wish that we'd gotten rid of this. We've used it like you, three times. To delete it? Just yeah. to like, yeah. how would you, what would you put in there? Well, so we, the deck goes over it. There's a deck? Yeah, we got, we got deck up top. The deck goes over the top and I spent like an entire day building a trap door that lies flat so that we could like sleep up there and also use our emergency escape. And I think it was like a year and a half in the bus before we opened the emergency escape for the first time. <laughs> Well, we also don't want to use emergency escape because of, you know, we, the, that means it's an emergency. Fair. Um, but, you know, I get what you're saying. So how do you get to your, your deck? So we have a, a real janky treehouse wooden ladder on the on side. On the outside? All right, we're going to go to the outside and check that out in a minute. I wanted to ask you about the windows. You did not delete the existing windows in the bus. Just one. Just the one behind the wood stove here. Okay. Do we wish we deleted them or do we wish we... Because uh, I like them. Yeah, I mean, it's really nice to be able to just open them up and have a cross breeze in the summer. In the winter, uh, it lets a lot of cold in. It reminds me a lot of childhood when I, because these are the old With school the windows. Yes, and I'm like, it's giving me a little bit of PTSD. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Kyle, did you ever have that issue with these freaking things trying to push them in? Yeah, I like, know. And I see them all down right now, and I'm just like, I can't put them up right now. <laughs> Yeah. No, it's, it's brutal the one sometimes. behind my head is the worst. It's is it? Sticky. It's yeah. Like, never get it. You gotta get some WD forty in that thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah. I'm just. I need to do it. I need to do one. Can do I it. do one? Yeah, of course. You this can. is gonna bring me back. Oh man, I can't. <laughs> it's just, it's, uh, I can't, I can't do it. Just, no, it's not that. It's just like it brings back like just the squidging. Like yeah, just everything about it. And that little drop at the end oh, pisses me off so every brutal. time because then you tease. have to redo it. Such a tease. And you're like, is it up? Nope. No. No. <laughs> I don't know if kids are still having these bus problems. Probably not. Yeah, they're right? probably not. They're How probably taking they Ubers to school and stuff. <laughs> Let's go to the outside before I before I lose my mind. Kyle, did you did you have any issues like that? In, yeah, in... I didn't ride the bus. You didn't uh, see? I rode my bicycle to school. <laughs> did you? Yeah. Water fill. How many uh, gallons of water do we have on board? It's a 21 gallon tank, so pretty small, and then we carry about 13 in Jerry's outside. I I did not see I did not see a toilet on board, and there's two of you. There is a composting toilet. There is a composting toilet for everybody that's going to troll us in the comments. Be like, we didn't see a toilet. Yeah. Sometimes I don't like to show the toilet because it's private. Yeah. It's, Where it's is it? It's usually a little bit unclean. Uh, it pulls out from under the bed. Okay, so it's underneath the bed. People love to ask about the toilets and the showers. So how do we cleanse ourselves? Because you look both very clean and clean and hygienic. Thank you. Mostly we honestly shower at Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness, a good old. We have an external like uh, little shower head pump thing if we want to take a shower in the wild. Planet Fitness is the way to go. Yeah. That just guess me in every time. Which yeah. is wild. Oh, so that's the great benefit one. of having a partner because yeah. the black card member allows a guest. Yeah, that's right. Every single time. Every yeah. time. It's, it's unlimited guest passing. Yeah. Have you run into this issue yet? If you go to a Planet Fitness that's not your home gym, for over 11 days and one month, you don't go. You can't go. We haven't had that happen to us. Okay. So we don't share that much. Have you had that issue? No, but Nikita has. Really? 
yeah. our friend Nikita. Guys, go check her out, Nikita Crom. I've had the issue once, and I was mm. like, what the? F you guys made uh, chips and salsa for everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Thanks. I didn't have any. Did you, Kyle? What the heck? <laughs> what are, are we at these festivals? You usually cook something for everybody. Yeah, I always do samples. Uh, what are you What are you cooking tomorrow? Mango sticky rice tomorrow. I told you. Let's do it. Yeah. He was honestly. We were walking around. He goes, let's, let's go check out the Bus Life Kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, got they got food out. Yeah, let's yeah, do this. So uh, you guys haven't really done much to the outside other than paint. We have not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the paint. Yeah. Paint. How long did that take us? Well, it was a long weekend. Yeah, it was a three-day weekend with some friends. But after yeah. you're done with it, you had a beer and you were like, this is awesome. 100%. Yeah. And all of our neighbors liked it so much more. Yeah, other than the yellow? Was it just a regular Well, it was like a little bit Frankenstein together with yeah. all the metal work that we had done in the front. So after the paint job, she liked The green black, I like it. I like this green a lot. Follow them guys, Let's Live Everywhere and the Bus Life Kitchen. There you go. Oh, this is your janky ladder. That's it's our janky. janky ladder. She janky. Yeah. Is your, um, should I get up this? I mean, do you want me to go first? Yeah, please, <laughs> actually. <laughs> yeah, uh, by the way, if my channel doesn't know this, I'm scared of heights, but it is about, and I'd say about 10 and a half feet. Sign the liability waiver. Yeah. All right. I, oh, you've lost what? We've lost yeah, run. the top I rung. I can see that. Now, top rung my, is gone. My biggest you question step is, on is the how the gutter. heck do you get down? Uh, okay. Okay. This is going to be fun. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Is this Jared weight rated? I think so. Oh boy, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna stop right there. And we we saw me. I'm good. <laughs> you don't want to step on the gutter? I don't trust my footwear. This is cool though. I like it. I actually like the the makeshift ladder. Well, it's nice, but we just did it poorly. I want to I want to see how he gets down now if he screws this one up. Uh, no, much. he's good. Ooh, not, not a chance. chance. Looks like a cat. I <laughs> I've got like boots on that I just don't trust. <laughs> what is the um the vent for? So we have a 12,000 BTU heater slash AC under the bed, which we can only run on shore power, which is what this little guy is. Okay. What's the make of the, or what's the model of the heater? It's like a Black & Decker standard, like apartment standalone thing. How many times have we used it? A lot, actually. When we really? were at the circus, we had uh, electricity all the time. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. So it came in handy when... Would, yeah, especially when you're in cold weather because you don't know when the circus is going. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or hot weather. Really or hot weather, weather, yeah. spent a lot of time in hot weather with them. Did you spend probably more time in hot weather than cold weather in this yeah. traveling circus? Oh, definitely. Can you say the circus? Can you, are you allowed to say what the name of it? Yeah, the Venardo Circus. The Venardo Circus? Venardo. It was an all-human circus, right? Yeah, all-human. Uh, anything you guys want to share um, about just maybe your lives, maybe the bus that I maybe missed? Maybe words of wisdom for anybody that maybe wants to get into the lifestyle? Or, Maybe why you chose a bus. I mean, we chose the bus just because we knew we were going to be doing it full time. There were going to be two of us and a dog. We wanted extra space to, you know, make it feel homey with two people working in there. Yeah, and words of wisdom, I just always say, like, do it. You'll hear from so many people, oh my gosh, I wish we could. And it's like, take the leap and also know that, like, the community has you. So reach mm -hmm. out, like, send us messages. We will respond. We're here to help. And, like... Don't send me messages. Just send, send, me send messages. them messages. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You, Don't I, send you... Andy messages either. Send me messages. <laughs> a really incredible community. It is. It's a great community. Yeah, we're all here to help. I just talked about that on uh, on Chad's uh, podcast cool. about how the community is so amazing and yeah. we're all here for each other. and. There is no hierarchy. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you again so much. Please share your socials, share how we can contact you. Share where we can buy the book. Yeah, so you can find me on uh, Instagram at thebuslifekitchen.com, or Bus Life Kitchen. My website is thebuslifekitchen.com. You can get the book there and also on Amazon. What does the book retail for? Uh, $22. Cool, and anywhere we can find your stuff? Yeah, the Sweet Bee Boutique on Instagram. I sell mostly on there, so follow me, and I'll post for sale. Stuff for sale. Oh, <laughs> Should I start over? No, you're again? good. Actually, I'm keeping that in there because <laughs> I've always said that like the personalities of people come out and that's your personality and I love yeah, it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you got to keep it. Okay, thanks. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks again, Kyle. <laughs>